Howdy folks, my name's Darren from RC Scale Models and I'm back with you today with another kit. Today we're going to take a look at some helicopters this year. In January, I think it's going to be the year of the helicopter because we've got some nice helicopters coming down the line from TACOM and Ming and uh, ICM and stuff like that and they're all bringing out decent helicopters. So this is the first one I'm going to take a look at. We're going to look at the MQ-8B Fire Scout from TACOM, 135 scale. The one plus one means there's two helicopters in this kit. This helicopter, what I can understand, is a little drone reconnaissance aircraft that the Navy uses. So let's take a look at this one. So what's on this one? This is a nice box art of the two helicopters coming into land. So basically what you see here is how you can do yours. There are a couple of ways of the helicopters uh, set up for its operations and whatever it needs to do. Um, like I say, there is two helicopters in this kit. Um, it's in collaboration with Snow Models, uh, uh, Snowman Models, which is something to do with uh, TACOM. They're another company that helps alongside them. I'm not sure what the... What the uh, the deal is, but you notice that's on the um, Apache as well. I think there's something to do with how helicopters are designed and the research and everything, but nonetheless, as I say, uh, kit number I believe is 2165. Um, so here's a couple of, of way the helicopters are done. Generally, the uh, schemes are all the same. They're all the navy grey. The only difference is the uh, markings on the front. This one here, what looks like um, a transformer icon. This one, some other symbols. Um, this is the transformer icon, what I'm on about. Um, let's say this is the side of the box. Uh, there's the codes. There's only basically two sprues for each helicopter, but obviously there's two of each because there's two helicopters. So it's a very easy, simple build. It shouldn't take too long. Nice, easy build for the weekend um, and stuff like that. Um, now sturdy boxes from TACOM, they're rigid, unlike uh, Ravel boxes which are really soft, but being that, good boxes, you, I've struggled to get into them sometimes. There's a little bit of tape on the back actually. We've got some tape on the back of this box. It's not a problem. Invoice. So, as I say, there's only mainly two main sprues. And then, uh, instructions, decals, a little bit of photo etch, and a couple of clear passes basically for the uh, like electronics and radar system thingy on the front. I'm 100% sure what it is. So just take a look inside, the instructions, and we've got some decals and photo etch. So let's have a quick nosy at these because we've got them on hand. So we've got two protective sheets. Obviously you're going to get two lots of decals as well, everything's doubled up pretty much. Um, so you can do two helicopters identical if you wanted to, but I wouldn't really do that because there isn't two helicopters the same. Um, so there you are. Here's the uh, signals on the front, squadrons. Camera's playing up with it, it doesn't like the silver. Um, then you've got the transformer symbols, the US, and you've got the rest of the Navy markings. Um, so yeah, they're not too bad. They are... They're not shiny, they are very flat markings. Not sure who they get to do their decals. Um, but they look okay. Fellow which parts. Camera doesn't really like this fellow which neither. Instruction sheet, uh, 
very small it's a little compact kit at the end of the day um, so it's not too bad it is a little booklet so little tips and tricks uh, how to do certain things it's pretty standard for manufacturers you've got your paint call outs up here um, you just got to refer to certain colors um, there is no specific, uh, sorry, specific manufacturer I don't think it looks like is that a MIG so that could be MIG paints actually actually come to think of it but they're calling out for rust red uh, like a green color clear green uh, clear red um, Saturn black and whatever so just do your reference material just revert to the colors sprues as I say there's not many there's only basically two main sprues and some clear and now uh, this is how it gets can be a little confusing uh, I'll explain in a minute so you've got a B C and D versions of which helicopters you're going to do and then step two is basically the fuselage on all four helicopters they're all going to they all use the same fuselage so it doesn't require any modifications there is some drill holes you have to pay attention to and now here we have step three of one and step three of two what they mean by that is this is step one of three so um, in helicopter A option in this square is everything you need to do for A. If you're going to do the B version is everything in this option. Now basically ne next step is to ignore that. This goes to step two. If you're going to do a C version helicopter is everything in this square you need to pay attention to. If you're going to do D it's going to be what you see in here. I know it sounds a little bit confusing but it's not. And then step four basically which would be this page we're looking at uh, if you're looking at uh, and then it's uh, number one again if you're going to do a you just want to pay attention to this square this is going to be for the B helicopter if you're doing either C and D it's only these steps so as you as you work your way along your parts parts are very similar basically it's side plates and panels and stuff and then on this one it's parts of the tail there's this couple of lumps and bumps that are slightly different between all variants now this step here is step six all helicopters no matter what one you're doing a b c or d all the uh, lower plate and skids is all exactly the same so that that doesn't change step six doesn't change and seven doesn't change so this is to do with the uh, radar system at the front the only difference is there's two types of nose which you have to pay attention to what nose you're using and then this is the top of the helicopter by the, the rotors that doesn't change now we're going into these steps again so we have step eight of one so for helicopter a and b version has this type of nose this type of roof the skid doesn't change like i mentioned and we have this bit at the back and if you're doing uh, step 8 of 2 which would be helicopter C and D has a, that type of nose the skid doesn't change but there is a couple of differences on the back now the tail on step 9 doesn't change the rotor doesn't change and neither does the uh, rotor at the back doesn't change so that's all standard for all four variants A, B, C and D variants the rotor doesn't change so all of this is the same for all the helicopters now option uh, a helicopter uh, and its scheme is this one here so it's n28 helicopter uh, doesn't actually say what regiment or unit or anything like that is from which i, I wish they would um, so it's unit some unit from the united Na uh, navy um, as i say the colors they call out are up the top just do your reference material it looks like like ghost gray maybe i'm not sure and your propellers are half black and gray the ones at the back are red next scheme is basically i believe it will be uh b b scheme again it's the gray this is uh n22 and it has a slight different symbol on the front but the, all the colors are generally the same the other scheme Again, it's number 47 helicopter, same colours, but again, the uh, badge on the front changes. This scheme again, same colours, 
this has the uh, transformer symbol and this is helicopter 7752 nope sorry 7792 my mistake and that is it so it can be a little confusing for the instructions but not too difficult so in this very first bag with these two screws this would be the nose, skids and fuselage halves These are not self-sealed bags. So, like I say, there is just two general screws in here of all your parts. So, when it comes to build this, you can either build both at the same time, which I'll probably end up doing, just to get them out of the way. Um, as I say, it shouldn't be too difficult of a build, but nicely done. So, what we see here is your main body, the two noses, the lower skid, and your rotor parts and how well the camera's going to pick this up is it is all raised and recessed just the way it should be and for what I what for what I can see is the rivets do go all the way to the leading edge the lower bottom part That's that side of the helicopter, this side of the uh, drone helicopter, nicely done. This is the lower skid plate. There are the skid arms or legs and then obviously your two types of noses. A couple of detail parts at the back. And there's the uh, part of the rotor system. So nicely done. That is just generally sprue A and then sprue B, probably the other one. Uh, just here, your rotor blades and your cameras and stuff, or whatever they are. So we have a little bit of slide molding on here as well. So here's your rotors, your cameras and the uh, radar thingy at the front, I'm not sure. This is the top of the helicopter, the tail, tail rotor, a couple of hatches, slide moulding here and here and down this side. So this is the slide moulded section which has this protective round and you see all these holes. This is our, for these parts, no idea what they're for. Slide molded this end is for some hatches and you, so they can get this detail on the, on the on both both sides. And what they mean by slide molding is a general sprue will come in from this side and this side and and, and pop and then and that's what makes this sprue. But slide molding means it come in from left to right. And then for this section here, it would come down on top, so there'd be like three parts to it. But this sprue in general would have top and bottom, a side from coming here and sides coming in here. So it's like multiple sections that make up the uh, injection mould. That's how it's done. So top, bottom, sandwiched together, and you have the plugs either end. They pop out the plugs and then release it, and that's how it get the sprue out, out the mould. That's what I can understand how slime moulding is done. Uh, again, slime moulding from this end, nicely done. Um, the rotors are flat, they don't have a curve to them or anything. These pipes are going to be careful to get them off. So yeah, it, this is very nicely done. Here's your tail, this is the top of the helicopter. We should be facing this way actually. There's that tail, which is one piece. Those hatches for different things. And then the last piece is this clear ones, which is part of the camera system in the front, I believe. 
so um, that is pretty much it as always beautiful kits from Tacom nicely detailed raised rivets and raised panel lines and recessed it's just their kits are getting better and better we're getting really sport lately with the way kits are designed and just generally coming out these helicopters that they're starting to release from these manufacturers are starting to bring out some really good stuff this is another one on the line from Tacom 135 scale fire scale like comment subscribe and I'll catch you next time